Hey everybody, this is Daryl Stinson from Second Chance Athletes. Hey, listen, I was reviewing the 2018 first round draft picks this morning and I was just really excited because I'm in such a much better mental and emotional and spiritual state watching the draft this year than I was in 2012, which would have been the year that uh, if I had the opportunity, I would have entered the NFL draft. And I'm just in such a better state now. Uh, in 2012, as I watched my peers um, get selected for the NFL draft, as I watched people I played against get selected, um, I was feeling down about myself. It wasn't that I wasn't excited for them. I was. I was happy for them. I was happy to hear their names called. I was happy to see them go to the NFL and some of them later to the CFL and some of them later to uh, the Arena Football League. I, I was excited for them. But their success reminded me of my failure. And it was all because I was truly still desiring to play. I had, I was over, I was done because of an injury, but I hadn't accepted that in my heart and my mind yet. I was living my current life as, as if it was second best to my former life, and that was just no way to live life. And my question to you today is, have you accepted the end of your career? I mean, listen, like fully, like all out, like 100%, not 20%, not 50%. Or are you still struggling with that transition after sports? Are you, are, are you, do you talk more about your athletic career than you do about your current life or your future? Uh, do you find yourself still bringing up the good old days or the plays you made in high school or college and you barely talk about the achievements that you're working towards today? If the answer to any of those questions is yes, then I suggest to you that you might be struggling like I was with accepting the end of your career. And the problem was, is that if you don't accept the end of your career, you'll live your current life as if it's second best to your former life as an athlete. You, 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 you'll be so excited about all the things you accomplished in your past and you won't be looking forward to accomplishing anything of equal or more value in the future. Why? Because in your mind, Sports was the peak of your life, and there's nothing to look forward to, and that's just no way to live. And so um, if you're feeling like that, I just want to let you know that I can relate. Uh, I, I, I dreamed of playing sports. I've been playing sports since I was a kid, and when I had my career-ending injury in 2009, I did everything I can to stay on the field. I developed a pain pill addiction so that I could numb the, the, the pain from my injury in my body just to be able to play, and I will put my body through two years of absolute torment just to be able to stay out there on the field and have this opportunity to influence the world through the medium of being a professional athlete. And, and finally going into my junior year, I had to call it quits because my body couldn't take it anymore. And that reality sent me into the deepest, darkest depression of my life. And I attempted to take my life multiple times and it landed me in a psychiatric unit. And um, that's where my life changed forever. And I had an encounter uh, that, that helped me find my identity and my purpose outside of sports. And, and, and it was a process. Uh, in the moment, I had hope. But it took me, really, honestly, about four or five years until I, I really came to the place where I can watch other people play and have no feelings of jealousy or insecurity on my behalf. And, and it took, a, it, took, it took a while to get there. It took some crying. It took some inner digging. It took some, some reflection, some prayer. And, and it took me a long time. And what I did for you is, is, is I developed the tool that I wish that I would have. Listen, after I got done with sports, everybody would say something like this. They would say, write down a list of skills and passions and, and figure out what you want to do with your life. That advice didn't work for me. Uh, my skills was that I was big and I was fast. And my, my passions was that I wanted to play sports. And so that really didn't help me. But what did help me is these three steps that, that, that I want to walk you through. And those three steps are this. Number one, you've got to diagnose. Uh, you cannot correct what you cannot see. You have to self-evaluate, ask yourself questions to, to really determine, do you have an issue with accepting the end of your career or not? And you just got to be honest with yourself. Like one of the tendencies as an athlete is to just bottle it all up and pretend like there's not a problem and perform. And that may have worked to be successful on the field, but it's a terrible way to live life. You need to really just assess, diagnose if you have an issue or not. The second step is to team up. Uh, listen, you can't, you can't confront what you will not admit. 
And you need to own up to it. Find a, a teammate. Find a coach. Uh, we created an online Facebook group. If you search Second Chance Athletes, you can join that uh, Facebook group uh, and, and let us know that you're struggling, um, or you're not. Maybe you're doing a good. You're doing good, and, and you just want to share where you're at, and that you're 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 excited about the end of your career, and you're looking forward to dreams and plans that you have for your future. Uh, so you need to team up. Number three, you need to dream. I'm talking about dream big. Listen to me. You can't move forward while still looking back. It's not enough just to close the chapter on the past. You need something to look forward to. And let me encourage you and tell you that there is something more encouraging, more fulfilling, more exciting than the life you lived as an athlete. I know that's hard to believe. I, it was hard for me to believe. What can be more exciting than the band playing for you, the media cheering you on, people who you don't even know asking you for autographs in the middle of the rest? What can be more exciting than not that life? The answer is your future life. Why? Because the future is always more exciting than the past. And so I found something that I love more than I love sports, and uh, I'm pursuing that passion now, and it took a lot to get there, but these three steps really helped me. I had to diagnose, I had to team up, and I had to dream, and that's what I want to help you to do. Listen, I created a free acceptance assessment. You can download it on my website at secondchanceathletes.com slash accept. You'll see the link right there on the screen. Listen, this is a free tool. doesn't cost you anything. All you got to do is go to my website, download it. It walks you through these three simple steps. It helps you to ask the right question, to diagnose. It helps you to find the right people to team up with. It helps you to dream, and I mean dream big. So go to my website, secondchanceathletes.com slash accept. Uh, you can read the blog content there, or if you just want to go straight to the assessment, you'll see a couple links there where you can just fill out your email address and I'll send that right to your inbox. It's a simple assessment that can help you get over sports and live your best life for the future. Listen to me, I am so excited because I know what I'm saying and offering to you has the potential and the power to change and transform your life. You're going to live your best life from this day forward. So go ahead, head over to the website, download that free assessment. And um, while you're at it, uh, go ahead and click subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel below. You'll get all the video updates. Uh, I'll be posting semi-regularly via video. So if you're the type of person that likes to listen to audio or watch video, then you want to subscribe to the podcast. If you're more analytical, you like to read uh, hardcore facts and a longer form content, I got the written version on my blog. You can go to Second Chance Athletes com and sign up where it says join the movement and um and just join that email list and you'll get the latest content right there in your inbox all right so go ahead head out i'm done for the day listen this is daryl again from second chance athletes where we help former and forgotten athletes succeed at life talk to you soon